welcome to our science lesson. This is teacher Alex, class 5. We are going to look at the topic weather. We are going to look at the topic weather. And in the topic weather class 5, we talk about weather instruments. Weather instruments. But now, I will start by defining the term weather. What is weather? Weather is the daily changes of the atmosphere of a particular place at a given time. This is the daily changes of the atmosphere of a given place at a given time. Now, we talk about weather instruments in class 5. What are weather instruments? These are just devices that we use to, take, uh, to, to, to measure or take different aspects of the weather different aspects of the weather and so we talk about uh, a few i will we will discuss about the few uh, weather instruments that are there in class five that does not mean those are the only weather instruments we have there are other weather instruments that we will look into but as time goes by so we are going to look at a rain gauge as a weather instrument we will look at a windsock we will look at uh, a liquid thermometer an air thermometer we are going to look at a rain gauge a windsock, liquid thermometer, air thermometer, and finally we will look at a, 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 a anemometer. We have an anemometer. We are going to look at a wind vent too. Now we will start with a, a rain gauge. We are going to start with a rain gauge. A rain gauge is a weather instrument that we use to measure the amount of rainfall. This is a, a, a weather instrument that is used to measure the amount of rainfall. And you can see the one we are displaying here. This is a rain gauge. You can look at this, uh, this image here. This is a rain gauge. A rain gauge is used to measure the amount of rainfall. Now, uh, how does a rain gauge look like? A rain gauge has the, the, the funnel, you can see we have a funnel, we have the collecting jar and the measuring cylinder. We have uh, the funnel, the collecting jar and the measuring cylinder. So the funnel is there to trap the water. The, 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 the water is collected in the collecting jar and the measuring cylinder is used to measure the amount of rainfall. So we pour in the measuring cylinder. And the measuring cylinder, the, 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 the units are millimeters mm millimeters it is not milliliters because in most cases we think because it's a liquid so it is for liters no this is millimeters mm double m millimeters so we measure the amount of rainfall in millimeters another thing that you are supposed to check on this weather instrument this rain gauge is that it is made of a metallic material the question is why do we use a metallic material we could have just made it using maybe let's say a plastic material why did we use a, a metallic material somebody you can try why do we use a metallic material yes it is made using a metallic material so that it can be able to withstand harsh weather conditions it is made using a metallic material so that it can be able to withstand harsh weather conditions now look at this weather instrument the rain gauge is dark underground there is part of the rain gauge that is underground, there is one that is above the ground. It is dug 15 centimeters underground. The question is why 15 centimeters underground? A rain gauge is dug 15 centimeters underground to reduce or prevent evaporation. It is dug uh, 15 centimeters underground to reduce evaporation. Uh, it is then, uh, we have 30 centimeters above the ground. We have 30 centimeters above the ground to prevent water from splashing back into the funnel. When the water will hit the ground, it will not be able to splash back into the funnel. Hence, we will end up, if it will splash back into the funnel, we will end up collecting the wrong data. The information, the amount of water collected will not represent the exact amount of rainfall collected. Now, with a rain gauge, it is 15 centimeters underground to prevent evaporation, 30 centimeters above the ground to prevent water from splashing back into the funnel. I say uh, at the beginning that this weather instrument it is made using a metallic material. The reason as to why it's made using a metallic material is to be able to withstand harsh weather conditions. The units for measuring rainfall is millimeters. It is measured in millimeters. The question is when do we check, uh, when do we measure or take the readings on a rain gauge? Do we take it uh, immediately after the rain? Do we take it uh, in the morning, do we check it in the afternoon? When do we check the readings on a rain gauge? The readings on a rain gauge, we check the readings 
at the same time every day. The readings on our engage are taken at the same time every day. So if somebody asks you when do we check the readings on our engage, tell them we check it at the same time every day. It is made using a metallic material to withstand harsh weather conditions. 30 centimeters above the ground to prevent water from splashing back into the funnel. 15 centimeters underground to reduce evaporation. And it is supposed to be placed in an open field so that there is nothing that will block water from, uh, will block uh, the rainfall. There is nothing that will lead to wrong collection of, of the amount of rainfall. So it is to be placed in an open field. Now, I have to, to, to give you a task. I have to give you an assignment. You can see the diagram, the, the image that we have here. These images are rain gauge. So you are going to draw for me this rain gauge. Remember the top part, the, the, the top part is a funnel. We have the collecting jar and there is a measuring cylinder. You are going to draw it and name the parts. And then you are going to tell me when do we check the readings of a rain gauge? How many centimeters is a rain gauge dug underground and why? How many centimeters above the ground and why? And where is the rain gauge supposed to be placed for you to, to collect the correct amount of rainfall? In the next lesson, we will look at a windsock as a weather instrument. But for today, we've checked on a rain gauge. Ensure that you submit that work through the student's portal. I will access it, mark it, and you will get your results. And with this, we will be able to know where we've not understood and then we will be able to correct. All in all, I was, uh, I'm happy to have you in my lesson. See you next time. This is Teacher Alex.